Well, San Diego Film Week returns tomorrow, showcasing, celebrating, and growing the local film industry. And joining us now is local filmmaker, director, and producer Jennifer Lynch. Jennifer, welcome to the show tonight. Thank you so much. We're going to talk about your award-winning folding feature, Kung Fu Ghost. It's actually premiering Saturday night at the Museum of the Photographic Arts Theater in Balboa Park. Here's this DVD form. Let's take a quick now uh, look at part of this trailer and watch closely because you might recognize somebody that's in this. I inherited the haunted house. The will clearly states that you've got to stay here for one week before you can own it. She is my granddaughter. She must have several black dogs by now. I don't know any one of Fine. I will do this myself. Uh, that's a lot of action. Jennifer, remind me to uh, not make you mad. Boy, some incredible stunts in there, a lot of martial arts. So in this film, I play a grumpy lawyer. So the question is, how did I do? You did an excellent job because not only you have with the behind the scene, but you did really great uh, for like many shoot before the pandemic, during the pandemic and after the pandemic, and also do the via voiceover. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think I'll keep my day job. All right. How would you describe Kung Fu Ghost to the audience out there? Kung Fu Ghost is a supernatural romantic martial art comedy. And we got the endorsement from uh, KidsFlap.org and the mayor and the police chief of Stanford, Kentucky. Excellent. Your movie is very family friendly. Um, it was shot, by the way, from basically Old Town out to the East County in La Mesa. Why was it important for you to make this movie here in San Diego? San Diego is my home for many decades, and all of the San Diego filmmaker and director, producer who I run into so far are really like passionate, generous professional, like Jody Saidi of uh, San Diego Film Week and all other director. Um, so I just want to make a film in San Diego so they know how beautiful our city is. You know, yeah, I love San Diego. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you made martial arts films primarily, but why was it important to do it here? I guess it, it just is it difficult to do those kind of movies in San Diego? It used to be about seven, eight years ago, but my uh, stunt coordinator, San Alexander, he had really started the stung, the stung school in San Diego, so now it's much easier. So we are going to make a more feature film, martial art related in San Diego. I know this film has won some awards internationally already. So in terms of film week, how does this help local filmmakers like yourself, this event? Uh, San Diego Film Week help a lot with like indie filmmakers like mine. We have the chance to show it in a, on the big screen mm -hmm. and it get a lot of publicity nationwide, so it's a really good organization and can help our movie get out there to viewers. I want to get back to this film because you really, it was a labor of love for you for more than two years. You ended up doing a lot of what, the editing, the colorization of this film, the sound design. What kind of toll did that take on you personally in addition to co-writing, this producing and acting in this movie? So for the post-production, for the color rating, for the editing, for the sound design, for the ADR uh, directing, none of that were blamed. None of, like, all of that because the pandemic happened and the editor backed out, so I had to stand up, give up everything, and just finish the movie because I own a duty to the cast and the crew who work really hard, so I had to do that. <laughs> yeah, one of the producers actually passed away during this movie. Also, your, yeah. one of your mentors and editor, Terry Kelly, who has won major awards in Hollywood. He unfortunately recently died too, but that sort of gave you, I guess, the, the drive to finish this movie, right? Joe D'Amato is the producer of this film. He funded the film and he is extremely passionate. The last time he was really happy when he was alive is when he um, actually on the set. So I need to finish this film for him and for my mentor, for my dad. And your dad too. Is there anything else? I mean, you were actually during those fight scenes, they're very intense. I know, I remember you telling me that you were actually very sick when you were doing this. We're taking a look now. You were not feeling well, but yet you had to really put it out there. So the scene with the ninja in the kitchen with the knife fight, actually I have a really high fever and the ninja is also sick, but we low budget. We don't have time to take the time off, so we have to like paddle. So and then when we go home, we just lay there and hopefully we don't need to show up the next day, but we have to. 
we poor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So very quickly, what's your next project? Can you tell us? Yes, the next project gonna be uh, take down the dragon fantasy martial art comedy. Okay. Yeah, people flying on the tree and stuff. <laughs> oh, like wire stuff and stuff. Wire food, uh, two major wire food, and the rest gonna be some kind of martial art with like a shooting style that you haven't seen before. Okay, we look forward to that. All right, <laughs> Jennifer Lynch, thank you so much for being here, and also thank you for letting me be in your film. I had a good time. You are super awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see you at the premiere on Saturday night. We've got some information for you. Tickets to see Kung Fu Ghost and many other films for San Diego Film Week. They're still available. It's, again, it goes, starts tomorrow, goes through Sunday. Tickets about $16. Kung Fu Ghost premiere Saturday night at 6 at the Museum of, of Photographic Arts Theater there in Balboa Park. For more information, go to our website at fox5sandiego.com. Click on the Scene on Fox 5 tab, and we'll link you to all the information.